Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn how we can validate JSON schema or in simple words, we are going to learn how we can validate our JSON response against a JSON schema. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting and let's get started and I will go step by step. Step number one is we have to create a JSON schema. Now in case you have watched the last video, we have discussed what is JSON schema and how you can create a JSON schema. In most of the cases, you will be getting a JSON schema from the creators or the developers of the API. But in our case, for demo, we will create a JSON schema from the JSON that we have got. So here, I will go to Google and search for JSON to JSON schema converter. And here we have got this link, which is a tool that will help us to convert our JSON to a JSON schema or provide us a JSON schema for our JSON message or a JSON document. And the JSON that we are going to use is, I'm just going to go to the REQ RES website that we have been using in this series and I will go to this get list users and go to the response. If I click on this link, it will show me the response that I will get. I'm going to copy this and I will go and paste it here. And although it is not formatted, but which is fine, I will just click on generate schema and you can see it has given us a schema for our JSON document. Now we have got a schema. We have created a JSON schema. Now we have to add the JSON schema in the file uh, in the class path. So here I will go to my Eclipse and this is the project that we have been creating. Now here, if you go to the target folder, there will be a classes folder inside the target folder. And then there we have to create this schema.json file. So it is not visible here. If I do a right click and go to properties of the target folder and see the target folder on my system. So it is here. And if I go inside the target folder, you can see we have a folder called classes here. And inside this folder classes, I will create a new file. I will create a text document and I will say this is schema and the extension I'm going to give is JSON. So I have created a JSON file in the target classes folder. I can open it with any of the editors like notepad plus plus. And here I will add the JSON schema that we have created here. So I'm just going to copy this and add it here. And you can now see our JSON schema is added here. I will save and I can close this. And here now we have done step number two that is add JSON schema file in the class path. Now step number three is we have to add a Maven dependency for JSON schema validator that is coming from rest assured. So if I go to Maven central or the Maven repository, here I will search for JSON schema validator. So let me search for JSON schema validator and here I will get the JSON schema validator from rest assured. So this one I will take, I will click here and as of now the latest version is 4.3.1 and this is the Maven dependency. I will copy it from here and go to my pom.xml file in my project and I will paste it here and to format, I will select everything and press Ctrl I and save. So as soon as I will save, I will get the dependencies added. So this will add all the JSON schema validator dependencies and you can see it here. And now we have done step number three. Step number four is I have to create a new function to validate JSON 
response against the schema so let me create a new class altogether so I will go to my tests package and here I'm going to create a new class and I will call this as JSON schema validator or I can also say validate JSON against schema I will say finish and here I need to add a function so for this let me just copy a function for a get request from any of the earlier classes so this was uh, this is one of the functions we added for a get request in the earlier class I am just going to copy this from here and paste it here and I will also uncomment the at test annotation which should be coming from org.testng.annotations and that's it so I have got this now to validate JSON and to create a function for that let me just take you to the rest assured official website so that it is easy for you to follow and just in case in future if there are any changes you can always check the latest changes in the documentation here I will go to the docs and I will go to usage guide here and here you can see there is a section on JSON schema validation I will go here and you can see this is this shows us how to use it also you can see this is the maven dependency that we have already added and here this is how you can do a json schema validation so here I will have to first import this so I will say here I will just say here this is the function assert that body matches json schema in class path and I can give my json file here so here I can say I can just copy this part and I will say after then I'm just saying assert that I'm saying assert that body matches JSON schema in class path and here I have to give my JSON file name so I will say this is schema.json that we have added in the class path and you do not have to give the entire path here because it is already in the class path so you can just say your file name which is schema.json and here this I have to import so I have to import this so I will say here import and here I will say let me just check if we have some example that shows us the complete path to import and let me see uh, here I will say io dot rest assured dot or I can very quickly check from any of my earlier projects yeah I should be having a example here this was I created just for an example and I will go and check for yes here I can get the exact path which is this one I will add all this in the description or note so that it is easier for you and I will paste it here so see what I have done here is let me expand this and show you I am saying import static io.restratio.module.jsv.json-schema-validator.matches json schema in class path now here I can you can see I have got a the error is gone and everything is fine just in case I do not do a static import if I just import like this then I will have to say here json schema 
validator and then dot matches json schema and class path and now this is also fine but just to directly use the function which is matches json schema in class path and not to use this class i can do a static import and i can say here static and this and i do not need this now now one easier way to organize your imports is let us say i will have this import or here which is actually not used now if i press ctrl shift and o on my keyboard you can see all the imports which were not used are now removed from here and all the imports or all the classes which are used are now here so you can also do that Control shift and o to organize your imports now everything is fine uh, we also have all these things which if you want you can remove so you can remove all this and only have the json schema validation or let me just keep all this here or let me just keep only the status code and that's it now to check i will run this i will save this and we have done step number four now we just have to run and validate i will do a right click run as test ng test and let us see the output you can see everything is fine so that means the json response that we have got conforms with the schema just in case we want to check what happens if there is any issue i will go to my schema.json and make some changes let's just say i will say here uh, let me say the email type i will say is an integer which is incorrect and it should fail so here i have made the type of email as integer and i will save this and now i will run my test again and let us see what happens now and you can see there is a failure and you can see it says the response body doesn't match the expectation and I can also check this on the console if I go to the console you can see here it says the content to match the given JSON schema this has failed and it also says us here you can see the error is instance type string does not match any allowed primitive type which is integer and here we see the pointer which is the email and all the details we have got here so that means now our json schema validator is working and this is how you can validate your json against your json schema i hope this session was very useful for you and i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching